Hi, it's Erin from Flying Off the Bookshelf, and today we're talking Disney cruise tips and tricks. So, obviously planning a Disney cruise is not as complicated as planning a trip to Disney World, but there are still some tips that are good to know to make your cruise as smooth as it can be. Our first tip is to book things early, and this includes your cruise. For Disney cruises, prices are usually the cheapest when the itineraries are first released. They generally aren't going to go down, and they don't tend to fluctuate much. So booking early will get you the best price. If you want to use a travel agent to book too, they can help you get the best deal, although they don't usually have a big discount with cruises, but some travel agents do offer onboard credit, which will give you some money to spend on the ship. Keep booking things early throughout the planning process too. Check in online as soon as you can, book the earliest port arrival time so you have more time on the ship, and make sure you book specialty reservations like dinner at the adults only restaurants as soon as you can. Now let's talk about some packing tips. First of all, pack a separate embarkation day carry-on bag. That way you can drop your luggage off at the port and still have the things you'll need during the day like medications, essential documents, or even your swimsuit if you wanna hit the pool as soon as you get on board. It'll take your luggage a couple hours to show up in your room sometimes, so make sure you have everything you might need with you in your carry-on bag. Also, bring a bag you can take off the ship for your excursions. You'll want to make sure you have your ID, your room key, water, sunscreen, and any other essentials every time you get off the ship. Once you get on the ship on your first day, you'll want to head to lunch first. You can either go to Cabana's, which is the buffet, or one of the sit-down restaurants. Then use that first day to see as much of the ship as you can. Visit the kids club. They usually have open houses going on walk up on the pool deck just use the time to check everything out and get familiar with where things are on the ship so that later on you'll know where you're going okay let's talk about dining tips on disney cruises they do dining on a rotational basis so you'll have a restaurant you're assigned to every night this is one thing that so many people love about disney cruises because your waiters move with you to each restaurant so no matter what restaurant you're in you will still have the same waiters each night one of my biggest tips is to get to know your waiters. Not only is it fun to chat with them, but they'll also get to know your dining preferences. Like on our cruise, every night when we came in, they already had the kids drinks ready to go at the table for them, and they knew who wanted to sit next to who, and they just had it all set up. Now, a couple important things to think about for non-rotational dining. First of all, room service is included in the price of your cruise. However, definitely make sure you have some money with you to tip room service. Room service is also where you can get Mickey premium bars on the ship whenever you want to. That's my favorite thing. There's also some amazing premium adults only dining on each ship. These are an additional cost. And if you want to do one of these restaurants, you're going to want to book it in advance because they're very popular. Okay, now activities on your cruise. You'll use the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app every day to see what's going on the ship. There's stuff going on all the time and you can favorite things in the app to make sure you don't miss your fireworks or your trivia or anything you wanna do. Another fun thing about entertainment is that there are characters out on the Disney cruise ships all the time. You'll find characters in the Navigator app explaining what times they're going to be out, but also just walking around the ship, you never know who you're gonna stumble across. Let's talk about the pool deck. Everyone wants to go to the pool. So first of all, you don't need to bring your own towels. Towels are provided, so no need to bring any from your room. And the big thing to talk about is crowds. The pool can get really crowded, especially on your days at sea. So either plan to get there really early in the morning and stake out your chairs, or maybe wait until later in the afternoon. On our cruise, we found that most families went to the pool in the morning and then got tired by the afternoon and went back to their staterooms or to do other activities. So we went out to the pool in the afternoon and had a great time and found it less crowded. Now, I know that's not the case on every cruise. You kind of have to feel it out, but that's what we did and it really worked well for us. Related to the pool, there's a few tips for Castaway Key. You want to make sure that you grab a towel when you get off the ship. Take everything you need with you, like sunscreen, water, and your ID, so you can stay on the island for the whole day and you don't have to go back to the ship for anything. When you get off the ship, you can either walk to the beach or take the tram. There'll be characters to greet you along the way, so I like to walk in the morning and see the characters and then take the tram back in the afternoon when I'm tired. On Castaway Key, you can swim, snorkel, ride bikes, and do all kinds of other activities. There's snorkel equipment and bikes you can rent, and while you can book these in advance, you can also rent them the same day at the kiosks on the island. There are also special excursions you can do on Castaway Key that cost extra money. We've never done any of these though, and we've never felt like we were missing out on anything. 
Like Food on the Ship, lunch is provided on Castaway Key. It's at Cookies Barbecue. There are a couple locations for cookies on the island, and you also can get free soft serve there. But also, like on the ship, any specialty beverages are going to be an extra cost. Now let's talk about shopping because this applies to both Castaway Key and the cruise ship. A lot of times on vacation, I feel like people wait until the end of their trip to shop because they want to see what there is or decide what they want. I'm definitely guilty of this, but don't do that on your cruise. Shop early. There's a couple reasons for this. First of all, what's on the cruise ship is what's on the cruise ship. They're not going to get more things in stock while you're on the cruise. They also don't have a lot of storage for things in the back, so they will pretty much have everything out in the store that they have. So if you see something you want at the beginning of your cruise, go ahead and get it. This also applies to Castaway Key merchandise. If you see something on Castaway Key that you want, go ahead and get it because Castaway Key merch is only sold on Castaway Key. Okay, now we have a couple tips for getting off the ship. First, remember to do your gratuities. So Disney will give you envelopes and papers that have included tips. They're automatically added to your bill and you can hand these to your waiter or your stateroom host. But you can also add to these amounts if you wanna tip them extra. Just go and speak to guest services about this and they'll print you new papers. Another thing you need to know about getting off the ship is that you wanna put your luggage out in the hallway the night before. So Disney can take it off the ship for you and then you don't have to worry about it in the morning. So just like you packed a small bag for embarkation day, pack a small bag for disembarkation day too with any necessary items. Also make sure you leave shoes out to wear the next day because you don't want to go to breakfast barefoot because you packed all your shoes. And those are our main Disney cruise tips for a smooth Disney cruise. But we have a ton more tips on the blog if you want to see more. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And if you found this video helpful, click like or subscribe and we'll see you next time.